Hey, what are we doing? I think you should build an MCP server. Right now? Right now. Okay. I'm Sterling, and we're going to build an MCP server. All right, let's do it. Um, I'm going to go to Postman's Public API Network, and we'll go to View All Public APIs. And you've got your MCP generator here. I'm just going to grab the first one up top, PayPal. Let's go to their APIs. We'll do their authorization APIs. Boom, boom, boom. We'll knock out some orders. So we'll make sure we get all their orders. Uh, we'll do the payments. Refund, void, just grab all of these. And after that, all I need to do is add requests. That's all been added, and I'm just gonna generate an MCP server from here. It normally takes about 10 to 30 seconds, that's what they say, and super easy. What do you like to do with 10 to 30 seconds? Uh, normally I just like to, you know, talk to myself. <laughs> all right, so when I'm here, download the zip file, unzip it, open the readme file, and follow the instructions there. So let's download it. I like to change the name so I know what MCP server I'm doing. So this is PayPal MCP server. And now that it's been downloaded, I'm gonna unzip it and I'm gonna open up my terminal. And we'll open up work. Uh, I have a, I actually have a whole MCP server uh, directory. So MCP servers, which is fun. We'll open up that real quick. I'm just gonna drag and drop that MCP server in, then I PayPal MCP server, and then we're gonna open up the PayPal MCP server into cursor. So now it's here, I'll zoom in just a bit so you can see it. I've got my index.js file, this is where, this is just the basic index.js file. The MCP server itself, this is everything. So Postman was able to generate all of this for me this is my MCP server. Next, open up the terminal and we just go npm install. Now that it's installed, I'm gonna take this all the way back to, back to Postman. I'm gonna grab my path, go back to Postman, go to my workspace, I'll go to new MCP, I'm gonna type in node because that's, it's built in node. Paste the URL for, or paste the path. I'm gonna give it access. And that is it. All of my MCP, all the tools that I, that I selected inside of the MCP builder is there. I can give it information, I can start using this right away. That's honestly how easy it is to build an MCP server and test it using Postman's MCP client. It's pretty dang cool. I think it is. It's easy. Now your turn. Go try it.